If you ever wondered how to create the release calendar in Jira, then you came across the right video. I'll show you how you can create a simple release calendar view like this for your Jira Fix versions, aka releases. It's really simple, it doesn't take too long to set up, and it's all done by using Jira and a marketplace app called Swanly. I'm Nikki, co-founder and product manager at Jaxo, the Atlassian marketplace partner that helps teams improve the way they manage and track their work in Jira with our planning apps. A key part of release management is clear communication of what is being released and when. If your teams are managing their work in Jira, you probably already came across the release tab in Jira where you can create fixed versions that help you track what is being delivered in what release. Here in the release tab in your project menu, you can create a new fixed version, give it a name, description, start and end date, and then link tickets to it using the fixed version field in your Jira issues. However, this release view is just a simple table that doesn't give you any visual calendar or a timeline view that you might be looking for when trying to communicate your release schedule to the teams and stakeholders. Not to mention, you can see only releases from one project at a time, which makes coordination between project releases much more difficult. To create a release calendar view on top of your fixed versions in Jira, you can use Swanly plugin. Swanly helps you bring releases from different projects into one view it picks up a start and end dates of your releases in Jira and shows them on the timeline like this. Depending on how long your releases are, you can use different zoom levels from yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, or even daily view. And if your releases have only end date in Jira, you don't need to worry. They will always appear on the timeline as one day long activity if they have at least start date or end date assigned. If you want to schedule an existing release or quickly create a new one, you can use an add release button. Here you can see the list of all releases that don't have a start date or end date assigned. You can use filters to quickly find the release you need and then drag and drop to schedule a release on the timeline calendar. You can also switch to the list view to quickly find a release here and access its reports. And speaking of reports, in terms of release tracking, there are these release reports available that you can access when you click on your release on the roadmap or in the list view. Here you can find more information about the release scope and how much of the scope was done and even a release burndown chart. I hope you find this useful when creating your release calendars in Jira. If you're interested in Swanly, you can check out our Atlassian Marketplace listing or the documentation. There's much more you can do in Swanly, like for example, managing cross-project releases, creating portfolio epic roadmaps, and more. If you're interested in that, you can check out our other videos. So see you in the next one.